Morning, an Omogi soldier killed in the line of duty will be honored all across the state. Two News reporter Dan Perlman is here with a look at what's being done. Well, Private First Class Tony Potter's weekend will begin at the Tulsa National Guard with a dignified transfer of his body. Potter graduated from Okmulgee High School back in 2010. He enlisted in the Army during his senior year, and he leaves behind his wife, who is expecting their first child. After the dignified transfer this morning, the high school will retire his old football jersey at their homecoming game tonight. Potter's family will be there, along with members of the National Guard who will lay the traditional M16 with boots and a helmet on the field. Potter was one of three Oklahoma soldiers killed by small arms fire in the same attack last week. 26-year-old Sergeant Brett Eisenhower of Lamar and 26-year-old Specialist Christopher Horton of Collinsville were also killed. They are all members of the 45th Infantry Brigade based here in Tulsa, which has lost 10 members since July. You may notice flags across the state will be at half staff today. That's because of an executive order issued by the governor as one more way to honor Potter. Live in the newsroom, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you.